I've been in the Navy for 43 years, really, since two weeks after my 18th birthday. The changes have been so dramatic, but what has been consistent about it has been the mission of naval aviation within our Navy and the role of our Navy. If you look to the future, um, we're going to face challenges. Budget issues will be there. But year in and year out, naval aviation delivers the warfighting needs of our nation and our Navy. Our Navy is about warfighting. It's about operating forward, and it's about being ready. And NAVAIR delivers on all three of those. It delivers clearly about our warfighters first, our focus and NAVAIR is about that. It's about being able to operate on our ships and carriers at sea and aviation platforms from rotary wing all the way up to strike fighters and beyond and on man as we go forward. And it's about being ready that we ensure the readiness of our forces and our aviation side are ready when called upon. Well, I had three focus areas when I started. So one thing we needed to do better was make sure we delivered integrated interoperable products to the fleet. We also have to be very much conscious of the cost not just of the design and the production of the aircraft, but of that operation sustainment tail that comes with them as we go forward. And finally, another one was to really, truly take on the spirit of what it meant to be one organization. And uh, that's something I've worked hard at, both for the Navy and Marine Corps, bringing them together, as well as bringing the command together. As I look back on NAVAIR, I think the challenges that we're facing, the mission is enduring. So my time at the helm has been one that I can influence and try to shape things. But in the end, it's not about me. It's about the mission of NAVAIR, which is the enduring quality we have. And that's borne out by the people here. So to me, the most important part of this job and everything that I've really enjoyed here is seeing the civilians, uh, government service folks, the military, contractor support personnel, all working together as one team for the betterment of naval aviation. That's the strength that NAVAIR has. Theodore Roosevelt used to say, there can be no greater satisfaction in life than working hard at a job that's well worth doing. The work that we do in naval aviation is such a job. It's not one that can be done by one group or another. It has to be done collectively from the people on the flight deck, the air crew of the flight deck, or on, a small, on the ships at sea, or the squadron personnel, but supported and dependent upon that, that reach back to the good old United States of America in this group called NAVAIR, which brings all that supports and makes all of them possible to do what they do. So my hat's off to all of NAVAIR, and it's a great way to finish a wonderful career, to be here at, uh, and providing for all of naval aviation for today and into the future. Well, I appreciate greatly the support that each and every one of you have given to me and my time at NAVAIR, and I would ask that you do the same for Admiral Dunaway as he comes in with his team, because in the end, um, he will follow on and do great things, but he'll only do those things with the full support of the NAVAIR team. So thank you all very much, and good on you.